Thanks for joining us for another Kilted Balls podcast. I think, I'm not sure, this is like our 70th or 71st episode, not counting interviews. That's pretty Isn't awesome. That Congratulations. Oh, yeah, congratulations to you, good sir. And here's the crazy cool thing, people. The um, we're we're streaming live right now, so yes. we're we're actually streaming this at the same time we are doing it. So I'm gonna jump to my other screen here, Kilted, while you're talking, and I will. Okay, cool. That we are uh, streaming. Right? That is awesome, and then you can keep an eye on it and and see who's jumping in. And yeah, we have a lot of exciting stuff today. Lots of exciting stuff. So um, while you're doing that, I'm, I'll get started. If anyone's been paying attention out there in NFT land, you know that a uh, uh, friend of the show and a big fan, we, we, I, I did post today on his Twitter. He asked what uh, podcast he should hit to talk about V2. And I don't know if you saw that, Kilted Balls. I suggested he come on and talk with us. Yes, I did see that. So uh, for a ball buster and myself. Sure. He, I, he didn't reply that I saw, but I'm going to keep an eye on it closely. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, hope so he, yeah, I hope he does come out here. Right? <laughs> so yeah, Gary V is, um, so today was the book games pre-token release. So it was, I think it was like it 24% of all book games got, uh, got on the friends list for V2. And out of my 30, I got seven spots. So I was right there. You got seven of them? I got seven spots. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Out of how many? Out of 30. So I was right there. Yeah, right. Exactly what they told you it would be, right? Yeah. Exactly so, I mean, it, this is probably old news to everyone watching this because I'm sure you saw the TikTok already. But those of you who might have missed the TikTok, I uh, meant to watch the TikTok. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Those will be all the old characters, not old characters, but the V1s redone. So they're not going to be uh, Gary's drawings anymore, but they, they do look really, really cool. I and, thought they um, looked really cool when I was looking at them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the the drawings have actually grown on me. I thought it was really funny. Uh, friends of ours from the Hideous Laughter podcast, they were actually, they brought up NFTs in their show. I think it was last week. And I was like, oh my gosh. And, um, and Griffin said, well, are there any NFTs besides monkeys or crappy drawings by Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to, when I see them, there's going to be some exciting news to show. <laughs> but uh, I thought, I, I, th I mean, those guys, they have so many connections with people, with artists drawing their characters and stuff like that. I yeah. thought that they're, I mean, there should have been hideous laughter podcast nfts a long time ago but everyone's at a different stage and what they believe happens and everybody's yeah everybody's stuff. in a different spot mm -hmm. so yeah i miss those guys I, I look at their stuff every once in a while don't listen to their podcast sorry sorry hideous laughter but you know i often am you know checking yeah. that out i i usually i usually at least catch half of it kind of what's going on with the story and then i'm usually listen to the um the zone of truth so um so yeah that was uh i mean that's well, the the last one made me laugh so much they did the fish eating stuff again where they ate all the fish sandwiches <laughs> that's so nice. funny. That's awesome. eating <coughs> eating fast food fish sandwiches live on air that are like bought earlier that day just oh, brilliant those, you got to eat those fresh <laughs> and then they rate them <laughs> they rate them one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So that's the shirt is, Callium wore today. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. He wore that shirt. So yeah. you got mm. seven book games. Now that's not the purchase. That was just the drawing to let you know. Honestly, I don't know. I need to look that okay. up. I don't know if I pay gas, which I believe is I just pay gas. I could be wrong. Oh, I, I could this was to put you on the white list to buy them. Oh no. Honestly, I don't know. And if you're wondering how many of these I got, um, it, it was zero. Mm. So, but I the reason why is I sold my book games. So yes. they started to jump up in price. And I had, you know, one. 
And I thought, you know what? I don't want to take the risk on one because I think the price is going to tank afterwards. And so I sold it. Yeah. Kind of kind of near the high. They did. They were up. I saw them a little bit over a half an ETH, which is pretty crazy since yeah. we paid $250, right? Right. Um, Give or take. Jay, earlier today, I don't know if you caught up on the polos. Jason had said they were down to one point or point one nine. Right now they're point two seven nine. So they've come back up a little bit. They were over a little bit over point three earlier when I when I checked maybe an hour or two ago. So um, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I'm paying just gas or I don't know if I get that if I have access to the to seven spots and I pay the thousand each. So either way, I'm going to do it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I thought you were paying a thousand and calling it good. And that was my thing. I didn't want to wait for a chance to pay a thousand. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm just going to cash out and, and I'm still happy I did. So, yeah. you know, it, because you didn't, I didn't know if I was going to get one. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll find that out. I think, I think it said on the 14th, if I remember correctly. It okay. is when is when I can start when I can start minting them. So I'll find out then. And it gives us like two weeks to mint them, I think it was, or 10 days. Nice. So it'll go from there. And then I'll I'll evaluate and then I'll see what I actually as of right now, I plan on burning five of my frames to access one of the new 15 characters. Oh nice. So there's 15 new characters that you can only get by burning book games. Really? Yep. That's like super cool, I think. Mm -hmm. right? So I, I didn't have enough to burn and I wasn't going to buy enough to burn. So. Yeah. So I believe I have access to three different ones. So I guess what happens, you have 24 hours to submit your stuff mm -hmm. because there's only so many of them. And then it's a random drawing and whoever wins, they'll burn your tokens. And then you get that, you get that V friend that I know for sure. Wow. Nice. So I could possibly get the octopus, which that's really what I'd like. <laughs> I can so get. So, are you going to buy it if you if you don't? You can't. You can oh, on the secondary. I'm market, on secondary, mean, yeah. Like if you don't get it, you're going to uh, go get it on secondary. I don't. I guess it depends on what they're at, what ETH I have, how much Lux is at at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, for um, sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, probably yes, honestly. But I'm gonna try to do that one, and then I can Oops, also. Sorry, the... people. My Discord came up on the wrong screen. I was oh, jumping not... to our next segment. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. But um, no, I yeah, I, I can also get the I can also get the ghost, which is pretty cool. And I think there's nice. another one I can get. I don't remember, but yeah, we can segment now. All right. No, that's super exciting. I'm super excited for you. So. I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, so the next thing is, is as you know, may, actually, it might have been after our last thing. So we got into the non -fun, non fungible miners on mm -hmm. um, the NFMs, and we talked a little bit about it last time. We were kind of excited about the project. They were going to have their own currency. They were doing their own stuff, and basically, you were becoming part of a um, like a Bitcoin mining company. I really liked the idea because one of the things we've talked about in lots and lots of episodes is this is a great NFTs are a great way to fund a business and people mm -hmm. can have direct ownership like stocks, but without all the regulations, which is probably why it's going to get regulated. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, that's right. That's like a thing. Yeah. So, that's one of the things we keep talking about. Like, hey, eventually people will use this to start business. And we saw that with Stoner Cats, right? Yeah. That was one of the things I really liked about Stoner Cats. They used the NFTs to fund their filmmaking thing. And um, I thought that was really, really smart. Yes. And so that was what was going on with the NFMs. And I'm going to tag them in my Twitter thing right now so they can see that we're chatting about them. Yeah, I right? think that we had, I want to say that we at least were talking about them, but I don't think all the exciting stuff happened till after that. No, were no. You looking, so were you looking we at your was, Discord? No, I was jumping on their Discord, okay. and then that made me think, oh shoot, I better get on uh, OpenSea as well. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> because I think there was reveal. So that's the big thing. We got two things. The first one is the reveal is today. The mm-hmm. NF miners are having a big Discord party tonight for the reveal. Um, and if you remember, we got three of them during the pre mint. So during the pre mint, you were allowed to mint three. We minted three right away. Um, mm-hmm. And we, we liked the project and we were in. So the pre mint ended and they had a few issues with their web page. Their mm-hmm. web page wasn't quite working. And so one of the cool things is, is I minted from the contract, which I'd never done before. So that, yeah, was, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. So I learned how to mint from a contract, got kilted one. We were pretty happy. They didn't do all the whitelists. So they had 2,500 reserved, I think, for the whitelist. If I remember right, each person could buy three. Not everybody bought them. And so they were like, well, that kind of sucks. But they, they, they were doing it for 24 hours. So after the 24 hours, they went public. And they reduced the price because Ethereum was going up. So when we bought in, I think Ethereum was around 3000 When yep. they listed, it was around 3400 and gas was going up. So they said, we're going to lower the public price down to 0.12 Ethereum, and we're going to see where it goes. And again, it was only for 24, 48 hours, I think, or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Well, there was a span in there where for 14 hours, nobody minted. So nobody minted at all. And they said, okay. Nobody's minting. We're done. We're, we're getting rid of the supply. And so <laughs> they just stopped it. So it's interesting because another group that we love, the 8.1, yeah. did the same thing. They, they said, you know what? We're not going to extend this. We're not going to keep doing this. You know, it's just going to become rare. Well, the NF miners did another thing. And so they're discording this and tweeting this out, but they said, listen, we haven't made any sales. We're going to throw out our white paper, our roadmap. Mm-hmm. We're going to toss yeah. the roadmap. And what we're going to do is we're going to limit this to 666 miners. And instead of doing our own currency right now, and instead of doing all of these different things, we're just going to pay everybody directly. Yeah. So every <laughs> quarter, we're just going to deposit the miners' earnings, and so it's only going to be in a loose, a very small group. And maybe we'll do something different in the future. But you guys are going to be our genesis group, and we're going to make sure that you all are well paid for trusting us. And yeah. they go. And by the way, um, there's 20 left. <laughs> and that's when I started getting messages from Brian, but I didn't realize I didn't. I don't know how I missed or the ball call. buster either way. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Ball buster was uh, letting me. <laughs> so he was letting me know. And not till I got home, did I realize it? And what did I say? There were six left. Yeah. So I had already started one and then I thought, shoot, I don't want to take one away from Kilted if he really wants one. So yeah. I didn't mint. I had it open. I had the mint button click, but I hadn't confirmed the transaction yet. Mm-hmm. right <laughs> so yeah i was able to get on there and i got two thinking that we had had three already and then ball buster was able to get another one so and the really cool part so like it was the 666 club they um like he was on there and he bought two and he's like oh they're all sold out and i was like dang it i never hit confirm and he's like wait a second i'm wrong they're one left and so i hit confirm and i got number 666 <laughs> that was awesome so i got the <laughs> the last one everybody it's now called the 666 group mm-hmm. so like the people in the discord the genesis group is called the 666 and so between us we've got six of them so we're pretty excited about those six we're excited that they're going to be paying us directly and yeah. uh we're excited to see where it goes we were excited before before they changed anything and yeah. now we're excited and here's like here's one of the cool things they did and the 8.1 didn't do this and i'm not holding it against the 8.1 i think the 8.1 is amazing yes. but one of the things that the nfms did is they said you know what you guys are our genesis we are going to go through and change the contract to make sure that you guys get the good ones 
you're not going to get commons. You're not going to get junk miners. You get oh, the good ones. Oh, I missed that. Well, then they delayed it. So the reveal was supposed to be yesterday. And then they came in and they said, sorry, when we did the initial like push out, we realized that the ones that are in our wallet, so they still had their own. Mm -hmm. They said, we got some of the rarest ones. And we said, nope, they go to our community. So we we had to take those as individual miners and give those to people who had less rare ones so that the developers didn't get the rarest ones. Oh, that's really awesome. Right? And they're like, doing, like, they're doing a reveal the right now, so I don't know if anyone's going to be joining us live, but still, it's pretty cool. Well, but they're on the Discord and stuff, yep, and if they want to jump it, you know, they can jump on here. I tweeted at them. Yep. So if they want to join us live, and if they are, yay that you're here. I am going to um, share my screen with you. Mine are popping up. So oh, are I can they? Okay. Share, I can share my screen. Yeah. And you could probably share yours, but I've got, I, I've been refreshing the metadata. Yeah. So I, I, don't know I if just you've did been that. doing that. I just did that. But uh, I've got three of them. Let me, well, you should be able to see it. I don't have to share my screen anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm not watching on the YouTube. I should be, or shouldn't I? You don't have to. You don't have to. But so anyway, I forgot that you is, said we were doing it like that. So far, this is my favorite one, people. Look at that guy. He is got like squid ears, <laughs> vomiting yeah. green goo, and you know, has uh, got some pretty rare traits, depending on how you like those things. I wish oh, OpenSea had like a gallery thing where you could like flip through them, right? That's um, I don't know what this is kilted, but maybe it's a uh, laser. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> So there's like that. that so, so I love so far. I love the artwork of them. Mm -hmm. I love how they look. I think they're pretty freaking sweet. Yes, that's awesome. And sorry, things are running slower doing taping. Oh no, no way! Wait till you see this one. I didn't. I hope those are bitcoins. See, the second one oh, just popped up are. on YouTube. Ah, oh, <laughs> can't see it yet. Oh man, you gotta <laughs> wait. You gotta wait for the reveal. So we the way we're streaming right now is there's a uh, 20 or 30 second delay. If you remember once we did a live episode before and we had a bunch of um not nice people on it, and we didn't <laughs> yeah. like that they were posting things that we didn't like. And so this time we set up a delay so that if anybody that is, is awesome, if anybody's being dirty, we can. Uh, oh, catch you them. said that 548 was going to be mine. Oh, that's super sweet. I'm so excited. Oh, what? <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I think what I actually said was whichever is the most common, that's the one you get. Oh, okay, so. sweet. <laughs> Oh man, I've well, got one. Uh, but yeah, to, to cover that a little bit, what what's pretty awesome is, I mean, they're saying just because we're we're holding them, and and like you said, we believed in them, we bought into the project, and they're buying these Bitcoin miners, and and I don't know if you saw the update today where the first miners ordered, and they're you know expecting it's going to be like a point, what did it say, point zero one ETH. Uh drop yeah per month with one so i mean that's super awesome per per nft you have right so oh yeah. man people i'm so sorry it's still not revealed and i'm really excited because this one if i remember right is my 666 <laughs> yeah that one is so uh, they must they must awesome. be uh in, in, in like a certain time because you're those were a lot earlier than this one and those are popped up and, and mine are, haven't popped up yet either yours haven't popped up dang it no well sorry friends sorry but there is the reveal kilted when he has his will share it with us yeah so that we can see it but yeah that, so that's cool thing i did a suggestion in the discord and i don't know you know whether they're going to take it or not but i said hey it might be cool instead of changing it to Ethereum to just deposit it straight as Bitcoins. It may save you some fees, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know if you guys want to do that. And I don't think they ever answered. I answered. I answered what I, I did felt. See you answered. Why? But uh, you know, who who knows? I I, I imagine that's why it's just going to be the easiest way to do it. They're not gonna. 
you're not going to have to put people's wallets in. And if it's sold, like, oh, what's your Bitcoin address? And so, yeah, who knows? Um, so another thing they revealed recently, and some people um, I saw in the general were trying to get them to do something else. And I haven't listened to the AMAs, but mm -hmm. um, they, uh, they revealed that they're getting the miners online ASAP. So I forget how many they said they got, a few. Mm -hmm. And right now it looks like the payout is going to be, I think it's 0 0.012 Ethereum every month. Okay. Yeah. So some people were like, no, no, no. Keep all of our money and buy more miners <laughs> and give us more money later. Like we'd rather you reinvest it. And I believe they had said during the AMA, yeah, that's not what we're going to do. That Like we have it built in to buy more miners. Mm -hmm we want to get you guys rewards fast. So, you know, I'm trusting them. It's their project. If that's what they want to do, you know, yay. But if you're doing quick math, each miner, we paid 0.12 plus gas. Mm -hmm. If the payout is 0 0.012, it's in 10 months, we've got our Ethereum literally back in our wallets. Yeah. Not like, oh, we might get that money back someday, right? Like with all the others, with all the tokenomics, they're saying, we'll give you these tokens and maybe someday you can cash them in. Mm -hmm. They're going to be literally airdropping Ethereum into our wallets. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be 0 0.12, 0 0.012, which is going to add up to the price of the miner in 10 months, which means in 10 months, we'll get it back. Um, OpenSea, last time I looked, which isn't today, um, yeah the lowest priced miner on there was 0.27. Yeah. So we wow. paid 0.12. We could double our money right now. I have no intentions of doubling my money. Yes. No. I mean, honestly, if, if 10 months goes by and I'm even on my toy, on my town star from playing it and the NFTs that I bought, I'm going to be ecstatic. Right. Like, that's the Absolutely. thing. If you can get yourself even, you are doing pretty doggone well, right? Especially You're, something like that where it's, you know, it's coming in, like it's coming yeah. in every month. Right. Like to have that just popping in all the time. Oh man. 666 six, six awesome. is not revealed. No, mine aren't either. Yeah. They must be coming along slowly. So I mean, they might pop up before the end, but um, you had some exciting news today. I mean, if I remember correctly, <laughs> you said you had doubled your money. What's that For which about? thing? Which thing did I double? Didn't you say on paper you doubled your money? Okay, so here's the thing. Here was my thought process today. <laughs> so as you know, Kilted and I have been swing trading, which while I was on vacation, I was still swing trading, not paying a lot of attention, listening to a little bit of Crypto Lifer. So if you ever get a chance to listen to the Crypto Lifer podcast, we've talked about them before and doing some swing trading. And at the beginning, I was pretty excited because I was making 10% pretty regularly on what I was doing, which was not very many days, right? So yeah. I'm jumping on, making my 10, jumping on with a few different things. And it was funny because at one time we went to a gift shop on vacation. We walked there went to the gift shop, which it was a turtle sanctuary. So I'm all about giving to sanctuary. So we spent money at their gift shop, came home. And I think I had put in, I, I'm doing everything in chunks of 500 right now. So I have all these 500 chunks. I'm doing the future market, which is what Kilted had suggested would be fun, which is by the way, gambling with uh, extra information involved. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> you're following trend data, but you're, you're gambling. You can lose all your money. You can make money. Um, and we got home and I was like, Hey, how much did you spend at the gift shop? And my wife was like, um, like $64. E and I'm like, ha ha. While we walked there and back, I made $64. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. Cause I bought it as we walked out the door and I sold it when I walked back in that is and it so was a five awesome. X long. And I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. the market was pumping. And so I started doing some other ones where I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to listen to crypto on this one. And I'm going to listen to me on this one and just gamble it. And so I'm playing it and loving it. 
and then it all stalled. Mm -hmm. You can still make money when it's slow in a you bearish can. market, but it's just, it's more difficult. It's a little more work. Well, the problem wasn't that. The problem was all of my money was tied up in future. So every time oh, yeah. I got a future, I put it in something <laughs> else. Like I couldn't not have the money working. Like Kilted kept telling me, it's okay to just breathe. It's okay to breathe. Mm -hmm. Nope. As soon as I cashed out, I put it in something. So yeah. by doing that, here's the problem. By doing that, the market kept going kind of up. I kept doing that, which meant I was always putting in at the top. Mm -hmm. Well, then the, it hit the top. It hit resistance mm -hmm. and everything dropped. <laughs> so now yeah. I'm sitting there with all my money tied up, slowly <laughs> waiting. And I did have one go to zero. So Kilted and I have now both have the experience where we've gone to zero on apes. Mm -hmm. So bad gamble. The apes, by yep. the way, was the one crypto suggested. Remember, you were like, oh, was yep. it apes? That, and I was like, no, Gala was my gut. And I made mm -hmm. my money. Apes was him. And it went to zero on me. I was like, gosh, darn it. Which is why you stop. This is, that is financial advice. That's you exactly. Stop you stop losses. And I got, I actually did that again. I, uh. I was being stubborn and my ape looked like it was going to go out. I was like, nope, not dealing with this. I put mm -hmm. it into something else. It liquidated that night <laughs> and then my other one went up. So it was all good. Well, and I'm still looking at mine going, all right, they're all down. I should put a stop loss on. Nope. Nope. Like so none of mine has stop point, losses. After a certain point, I mean, it's going to, like, I have one for XRP right now. XRP is going to have to go to 70 cents for me to get a stop loss or yeah. for me to get liquidated. I'm sorry. But, right. I mean, at this point, if it goes to 70, I'm in a lot more trouble anyways. I'm going to have yeah. to work another few years of my life <laughs> it goes to 70 before it goes back up to 89 again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, whatever, and that's whatever I bought it at. There are five exits. So you lose money really fast, but you gain money really fast, which mm -hmm. happened today. I had one that was dropped and all of a sudden it popped up and I was like, Ooh, should I do it? And it dropped and then it popped back up and I sold it. And I was super happy because I cashed out some of my money it was really small, but that made mm -hmm. me think, why don't I play with the hundred X? Nice. So if you're paying attention to what we've been talking about, if you do a futures hundred X, here's how it works. If the stock goes up 1%, you double your money. Yep. You double your money. So if it goes up just 1%, you get a hundred percent returns, which means by the way, if it goes up 0.1%, you get your 10x, which is what our goal is right now is to 10x. So I'm like, if I'm feeling really confident, I'm going to do it. Here's the negative. If it goes down 1%, you lose all your money. <laughs> yeah, you're just liquidated. <laughs> you're gone. Poof, it's gone. So that's the trick, right? Like if it goes up 2%, you just tripled your money. So you're, you can do some really fun things, but you can lose it all really, really fast. So I'm like, I'm going to try this. And so on paper, I always think, and this is financial advice. Always do your trades on paper for a while and mm -hmm. see if you're right. See yes. if you're knowing what you're doing. See if your system works for you. See if you're getting them right. Then you can start dipping a toe into the real water where the sharks are. So yes. I did that and I'm talking kilted through text. I'm like, okay, I'm doing one. I'm going to buy it now. And then I'd be like, okay, I just sold it. And he's like, wait, that was really fast. I'm like, yep, I made my, I made, I think 20 or 30%. And I was like, I'm out. And then yes. I said, here goes my next one. Boom, I'm buying it. And I'm buying, and I told him which one I was buying, told him. And then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm selling it and I'm out. And I doubled my money in those two trades. Like I was like, boom, boom. So when I got home, I was like, I'm going to do this. And so I was watching Ethereum and I was watching like the minute and the three minute and the five minutes, super short time. And I'm like, watch, I'm like, oh, it's there. Bye. And I'm watching it and it's not going up very fast. Like it was going up, but like it's going up point one. I'm like, what is going wrong? Yeah, I didn't click a hundred X. It was still on five X. So, oh man. Dang it. And now that means my money is now tied up in Ethereum. Cause mm -hmm. yeah, it needs to go up two percent for me to get my 10% goal. Mm -hmm. and it's not sometimes i sell early just to get that money back out well and i probably will with like that one like that one i was like if you hit even i might sell you um yeah. something else i noticed and maybe you can tell me this because i'm new to swing trading 
-hmm. when I'm looking at my futures, does it charge you like every day an amount? I don't think so. If it does, if it does, I haven't. Oh, because how your percentage goes up. Yeah. So like it tells you when you're looking at your futures for people who don't do this, it tells you what you've actually gained or lost over time. Yes. And so like when I first did it, like my gain and loss was like two bucks. And I was like, oh, that must be the fee. Well, like now all the ones that I've been sitting on forever are at like seven or eight bucks. Oh, I wonder, you know what? I'm going to write that down. I'll look at it. I'm going to write it down now. I'll look at it tomorrow. That's interesting. I thought that that was the fee when you bought. Yeah, it was. But then every day. And so changing. normally we're swing trading. So we're doing it every day. So we don't notice. But for me this time, like some of these things, I've had positions on them, well, for almost a week now. Yeah. Right? So I've been sitting on these for a week and I've got to sit there and wait. And I was really hoping today would be a nice bowl and I would get my money back, but nope. Yeah. Right now I'm down 25, 39, and 69% on my my five longs. Oh my gosh. That I have right now. Listen, those are amateur numbers. You ready? (laughs) So these are my percentages that I'm losing. 13%, 25%, 46%, 27%, 70%. Those are all lower than mine. Yes, that's worse, right? No, that's how much I'm down. That's the percentage I'm down. Uh, Yes, the lower the number, the better. Yeah. I know. So my, I, mine is 70, 70%. You have one lower than 70, worse than 70%. 73.87. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That Those were the numbers I was down. I'm sorry. I was looking at something different. That's yeah, how my, far percent I'm down. My, my Jasmine is 70%. Yeah, well, because you and I bought Jasmine at the same time. Yeah, 702 <laughs> So crypto was like, look at Jasmine, look at Jasmine. And we're like, yeah, look at Jasmine. And we're like, yeah, that's going to go up. And we both bought Jasmine. It looked like it was going to do it. And that darn Jasmine. Now, luckily, I didn't put a lot of money into Jasmine, like a couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. It was my profit, but it's still down 70%. Yeah. Well, here's the the exciting thing. So if you listen today, and when was that? Where are we at? Let me look at my, look at the 15 minute. So this morning, or like right at 12, he's like, oh, look at SHIB. And maybe it's going to like get a bounce because of the info with Doge and Elon and everything. Yeah. And so I took it. I took a shower, went to lunch. And at lunch, I was looking at it and I was up $250. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, sweet. Oh, my gosh. So, so jealous. That. I was looking at that for one of my 100x type trades, which, by the way, that was something else I realized. I might not have doubled my money on paper because I was doing 100x's, but I didn't look. Some things you can't 100x. Yes. And in my, so on your trading view, you know how you, can, you have your watch list? Yes. So you can, you can um, keep for, for, the, for the one that we have for the membership. Mm-hmm. You can keep a hundred uh, symbols over there. So okay. what I did, I went through my, I went through my KuCoin, and I was looking at the at the ones that you can do the leverage on. So nice. I was typing a bunch of those in. So when I go through, I haven't been. I was doing it every day for a while, but like in the morning when I go through and look at it. You know, ninety percent of those I can do. I can do the five x, but I just I just uh, put all my information in because you did get me excited. I might put a couple hundred dollars towards the towards the hundred. <laughs> right. Well, it's just. I mean, I get that that's like really gambling. That's like for reals gambling. That's like for reals gambling, but like if we were in a bull market right now, like if all of a sudden we started getting our other stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd be going hundred X's. If you, if you have an idea and, and, and you like what you've learned on how to read the charts, if if you are right, you know, 80% or 60% of the time, or, Mm -hmm. you know, not even that much, depending on what your losses are, 
compared to your gains, you can do some quick scalps. For me, my concern is that, and I don't think it would happen because I don't want to spend all my time standing at the computer, right. but I could see that being very addictive. Like, well, oh, like if I just find this and you know, you're chopping a hundred bucks here and there for every few seconds. My thought was you you know what, if you could do it for an hour or two every day, you picked some time and you were like, you know what, I'm going to go trade for an hour. How about trade while you're listening to Crypto Lifer from 10 to noon? Right. <laughs> and you're just I, in there playing the numbers. Yeah. And I've I was been thinking, trying to do that where I'm standing at my desk to be able to do stuff. And you're right. That's a great time. Well, and I was thinking you do it and you do $100. Mm -hmm. And you do $100 and you only do 100 and you keep doing it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then when you get another 100, you do two of them. And mm -hmm. I don't know how many you can do at once, like mentally, but you do that a few. And then, you know, if you have some that lose, you're still got it, right? Yeah. Like and I even like, thought do a hundred and then put the other hundred somewhere safe. So then you're yeah. playing with the house's money and then who cares? Yeah. Like with any of this, if you're doing anything, whether you're buying, you know, of, of, of the friends, you know, series two with your last thousand dollars, don't, don't bet your last thousand dollars. Although no. a series two V friend, I think was uh, as far as a bet goes, it's one that I would take. But it, with none of this, do you want to use? You know, like like at the shows, no. like we used to laugh, like oh, do I want to buy baby diapers or do I want to buy this? You know, some sheets. Like I'd go buy baby diapers. I mean, come right. On. Well, and that's so. the same. Like if a hundred dollars, <laughs> yes, if you did a hundred dollars, you're talking about for us. We would spend that when we were in college, we would spend $20 at the casino mm -hmm. today, $20, $100 is the same as $20 when we were in college. Right. Cause we're sense. old. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm like, it's just like gambling and you do a hundred dollars and yeah, you just play. And like I said, you play for a couple hours and if you're get good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. again, you got to, you got to play the trades that are working, but you could make some, probably some stuff. Yeah. Cause there's even, I mean, I, I think even when you're watching, like when you're watching a trend and it's going up and down and it's in that wedge, I mean, you can calculate that. Okay. And that's this exactly wedge, what I was doing today. Is it bumping? Yeah. I was drawing my wedges and saying, okay, when you hit the bottom of my wedge and I'm looking at my statistics, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, now and i was also looking at where everybody was buying so i've got that yeah. going i'm like okay now everybody's about to go like mm -hmm. bye right and i was just playing and i'm like you saw my text i was planning on one minute trades like okay now yeah. and now sell it for 10 sell it for 20 and get out yes. of dodge right so mm -hmm. but yeah i think if it was a bull market you could do that easy and you might be saying yeah but what about a bear market um, when you do futures, you can short. So you do the exact yes. same thing, but the opposite. Yeah. And even like when I first started listening to Lifer, it was things were more bullish and he would take shorts. Yes. And there's right. still stuff going up. It's just a lot more research, but you, like, you can short. Only time you couldn't play that game effectively. You could always probably play it pretty good if you got good with your data. Mm -hmm. But the only time you got to be scared is when the market's steady. Yeah. Then it becomes scary because you're well, not doing any of these for a long period of time. When Bitcoin is going sideways, the alts are pumping. So, right then you start playing with the alts. It's just mm -hmm. harder to get hundred X's. Yeah. So my miner hasn't come up. Um, my nine I has, put, has not either. No, and I put more money into looks, people. So if you know, we're really bullish on looks. Um, they've started a new staking mechanism that uh, pays you two hundred and thirty-eight percent. Actually, I'll look right now. So. We're big supporters now of Look Rare, which is probably where we should be doing stuff. So, yeah, um, I bought I bought a, a nonconformist duck second generation off of Looks Rare. I paid more than what the exact same duck was listed for on OpenSea, and I was yeah. fine with that. Heck yeah! Well, so far with my new staking, I've mm -hmm. earned fifty looks. That's awesome. Which is which is like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Right? Looks is down right now. I think. Yeah, um, I added more. I added more looks, mm -hmm. but it hasn't gone through to be staked yet. So the gas must be too high for it. Here is um, something going on with gas. Yeah, it's just under two dollars right now. 
And in that same time, I've made $66 in wrapped ETH. Nice. So that, because I kept my old staking mechanism. Mm -hmm. So my wrapped ETH is going up the same amount. Well, not the same amount. About 30, 40 bucks less than my looks. Um, But if you add it all together, it's about 70 a day-ish. That's awesome. Right. And we talked about last episode or the episode before that it, in my worldview, if you can get your passive income to $100 a day, you should be happy with life. Mm-hmm. You should be happy with life. Right. Because that'll translate into big gains fast because it's exponential. Yes. It's exponential. So it goes fast. So. Uh-huh. I'm actually, (laughs) I'm to a point where I'm almost getting ready to take some out and actually make money on my crypto, take it out, transfer it to my account, because I'll need to do that with, you know, with future things, I'll need to make sure that I can do that. So Uh, that was a funny conversation I had, and we can leave the episode with this in our live stream. So if you join our live stream, thanks for joining. And if you're just watching the episode, yay, thanks for being here. And that is, um, I was talking about different sales we were making while I was on vacation with some family and they were like, I think I was like talking about the miners. Mm -hmm. Right. And they were like, yeah, but you know, it's not real money. And I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, well, you can't spend it. And I'm like, they're like, well, how would you spend it? And I go, well, let me give you three different examples. And they're like, what? And I'm like, well, first I go, I don't have one. I go, but people I know have debit cards. And he's like, like, what do you mean a debit card? I'm like, like a bank card. And they, and it takes it from their cryptocurrency. Like they pay at Meyer. Cause he was like, well, you can't use Bitcoin at Meyer. I'm like, actually you can. They have a yeah. debit card and you swipe it at Meyer. And they were like, well, how does that work? To when my wife chimed in, which cracked me up. <laughs> she was like, well, how does it work when you're in Europe and you use your debit card? Yes. And they're like, well, and she's like, it's the same thing. You're just using your debit card and it doesn't matter what currency it's in. It pays that currency and takes it out of your wallet at home. So when he's using his Bitcoin debit card, yes, it's just using it. So he was like, oh, I didn't realize that. I'm like, yeah, I go, or I go like Kilted recently was like, I'm getting rid of this stuff. Um, I can't remember what it was, but I was like, he, he's like, yeah, but now what's he doing? Oh no, I use mine. I go. So for me, I go, I had all this Bitcoin and they're like, right. And I go, so I took it out and I bought Ethereum Mm -hmm. and I go, and then I bought looks and he's like, well, yeah, but it's still in there. I'm like, no, I spent it. I I spent it twice. I go, literally, they're going to tax me on it twice. So I spent it. I go, I could have spent it on anything. I personally chose to buy Ethereum and I personally chose to buy looks, but it was me choosing what to buy yes so i go there's there's another way where you can just go ahead and buy it and i go and the final thing is and kilted knows this i'm constantly and so is he putting our money into us dollars in our trading platforms we we turn our ethereum into dollars then we turn the dollars into looks or bitcoin or gala or townstar and then we turn it back into dollars so we're mm-hmm. always turning it into dollars we just yes. go back and forth mm-hmm. so right i don't do any of the trades where it's the same stuff do you no i mean i have done B- the btc pairs but mostly i'm yeah. using tether yeah i i it's use that 90 percent of the time mm-hmm. actually 100 percent of the time I think I tried it once and was like, nope. So <laughs> yeah, the numbers were too small. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, I forget where I was at. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is too hard to figure all of this out. So anyway, people, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us either for the live stream or for the actual video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, and if you like our content, please keep tuning in. We'll continue to talk to you about our staking adventure. Hopefully, we've got some big bullish news here by the end of the week that'd be great so yeah we'd love to hear too like what uh you know if anyone else is doing anything like that and and anything that that you've been doing staking nfts we'd love to hear from you and uh come yeah. in we can reply back comment on the video comment on twitter kilted balls 
and uh, we'd love to hear from you. So anyway, this is Ballbuster signing off. Kill the Dragon Jar. Love you all.